Hey everybody, it's J Side Friday, Season Two, Episode Ten, in a row, on Friday, at like five o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna let you guys all in on a little secret. Those are just posted Friday. They're filmed typically on Thursday. Do you really care? I don't think so. If you're watching this. You probably don't, you don't care, so whatever. Um, let's get to business this week. I don't know if any of you actually watched it, but there was a video posted up, a new video of road tripping with J-Side himself. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you about the trip because that's what the other video is for. But today, I'll tell you about what we got on the trip. And it's awesome. And, uh, in order to do that, we have to do something different here. Familiar, but something other than what I'm doing right now, which is just kind of babbling. So let's just, let's just swipe away. What's in the box? Today, it's not in the box. It's in the truck. We may have talked about this the other day. If you watch the video of road tripping. Um, but, uh, we, uh, I, I... Did a drive the other day. Picked up something that's in the bed of my truck. Oh, see it down there? Yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, let's pause. I'm gonna unwrap this and we'll pull it out. All right. So we got two items. First item. We'll cover that one up. You don't need to see that yet. We got a new hood for the Red Rocket. It's the wrong color red, as you can see, but um, I think we're going to cut a hole in it and uh, lift up the middle, give us some room for our air cleaner, and hopefully some air for some venting. Number two that I'm super psyched about, because it's a little bit sleazy, is this guy. Did... Have you ever seen a Ford Maverick with a rack on the trunk? Oh, you're about to. That's going on Red Rocket. A little bit sleazy. Looks like something off a boat, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. We have new stuff. What's in the box? So, I'm super psyched about the uh, new toys. I can't wait to paint them the right color. Um, the hood might get cut up to make a bigger hood with a big hood scoop to clear a full-size air cleaner and a taller intake and better cooling stuff. We'll see. If you're wondering, you know, I skipped this in the beginning, but why are we still doing videos in the house so you can look at my BMX bike in the background? Um, it snowed again. Yeah, it's March 7th. It's been snowing for days. It's freezing. It's sub 20. I, I, it's, it sucks. I'm ready for spring, guys. Somebody in the south, send me your warm air. I need it to get out in the garage. It's cold. Um... So pretty cool. That trunk is super rad. I've never seen one. I'm sure somebody has one, but I've never seen one. I can't wait to put it on the car. So there's that. Um, other than that, our tech of the week was actually a uh, birthday present I made for a young man that has everything in the world and doesn't need anything else. So I decided to make him something interesting that I, I saw something similar on the YouTubes. No, where did I find that? The Instagrams. And uh, there's a guy that makes a bunch of stuff like this, but uh, I didn't want to go as weird as he did. And uh, I decided to make something similar that is my own. And uh, let's just, I'm going to I'm gonna put the pictures over here as I talk about it. Um, and I'm going to, I'll like let it build up to suspense a little bit. 
So the first picture we got here, uh, I'm at Home Depot. Trademark of whoever owns the Home Depot. I'm not, I'm not, nothing patented that I'm trying to take from you or benefit from saying your name, other than the fact that it's got a, an orange shopping cart, and I spent a lot of money there, so screw you, man. If you want to yell at me for posting your name or something. And let's get past that. Um, what you see here is a couple plugs. I will tell you that the, uh, the one plug that has the uh, two regular plugs and the two USB ports, that thing's like 23 bucks. That made this project kind of pricey for what it was, but still cool. So what I did is uh, about that, and if you see right here, I've got the little uh, uh, double, I think they call it a gang box, meaning there's two little things in it. You can put two receptacles in it. Receptacles, Recep receptacles, it's a receptacle. I can't pronounce it, but yeah, two thingies that are electrical. Um, I have a, a shop light, right? See that old shop light? So I uh, decided to take it apart. That's, that's that thing. And uh, realized that that was unusable at that point because there's nothing really modifiable inside that thing. It's just like cast plastic and rubber. And it was garbage at that point, other than the bulb I kept. Um, so I have this. This is a dead giveaway. That's an old lamp that I had in a spare room, and uh, it's supposed to look like wood, but it's heavy, and it's made out of metal. So in order to get all the crap off of it, which is the fake texture, um, was like a plasticky, I don't even know what it was. So I threw it my wood-burning stove, burned it right off of it. Um, at that point, I had a very hot piece of steel that looked randomly like a smooth stick and there's the picture as I rinse it off and uh, ended up just uh, cutting off the um, the little leaves that were supposed to be part of the branch part but what that left me with was a piece of steel tubing that was threaded on both ends with a similar lamp it uses like a small nut um, so that I could screw in the base off the lamp nice and tight to mount the bulb and I can screw it to the base right here you can see some of the pieces um, get an idea of where we're headed here and then uh, got to business with heating it up bending it to make it work um, got the the main part that holds the bulb cut shorter bent in the right way and I'll tell you what enough heat and go slow you don't have to worry about crimping it you get a good bend on it Works out pretty good. Um, and then it was pretty much just putting it together. And you can see the pictures just kind of flipping by. Um, I ended up using a 10-speed uh, bicycle sprocket for the rear part of the cassette that was no good. And I was able to bolt it, drill two holes and bolt it to the bottom of it. So it's got a really sturdy base. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. It went together pretty good except for this. You see that right there? Um, I don't know anything about electricity. I know a little bit about electricity, obviously, but those boxes um, aren't square. So when you try to use a square, you know, receptacle, 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 I think I said it right this time, um, it doesn't fit. So there's little ears on there that you can break off, and then I had to roll them back a little bit. I had to do some finagling to get that to work to fit flush inside the cover because the cover's round and it was made to actually have um, an adapter plate in there to make it work and I didn't use it. Anyway, so when all was said and done, this is what you get. You get a plug in the wall lamp that uh, uses a cage on it off a shop light. The switch on the left turns the light on and off and then the plug is always wired on. So you can charge your cell phone, laptop, wh whatever you got that's on your desk. Um, it's pretty neat. He, I, th I think he got a kick out of it. Um, and uh, that's it. That was, that was pretty much the tech of the week, folks. Um, big news. I'm not going to post a picture because I don't feel like wasting the time to look it up. 
But uh, Hoonigan has a barnyard, or a, what do they call that? They have a parking lot at the drag strip that they're now allowed to do burnouts. So the they're going back to daily transmissions with burnouts. And I tell you what, when I eat my cereal in the morning, I want to watch burnouts, especially in the summer, because I love burnouts. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, I will tell you, in other news, there was two car shows this past weekend, and uh, those videos are going to drop here pretty soon. And then once the videos drop, um, I'll do a little touch on it next week on just some specific things that, that kind of overdo it in case you just don't want to watch any of these videos and you just want the quickie, you know, here's everything you need to see, adios kind of thing. That's cool. But watch the videos when they come out because uh, they were two neat shows. And I'm not going to tell you what they were because you're going to have to watch. But that's it. Um, until next time, folks. Uh, yeah, get out in the garage. I'm not going to because it's freaking cold still. And uh, yeah, let's just keep our fingers crossed that it stops snowing. It's March. Give us some warmer weather, folks. We're ready to start racing mountain bikes again. I I, uh, I ordered some... Uh, there's going to be a what's in the box this week, too. Maybe a couple. We have a lot coming on up soon. Um, Keep posted. That's all I got to say. Adios, folks.